ChatGPT is smarter and more creative than me. Or well, it's at least creative enough to create a card game entirely on its own. From scratch. With my help. That's right, I created an entire trading card game using only ChatGPT. They created the rules. They created every single card. They created the art, kinda. And they even wrote like a Bible's worth of flavor text that all leads to making the lore of the game world deeper with only a, a few continuity issues. Trust me, this game was far better than it had any right to be. And if you want to see that, keep watching because it is crazy what GPT is capable of. With my help. So without further ado, let's get into the first test game I did with my friend Chip. I'll be back later to tell you a bit more about the game making process. Or Mystic Sage Aurelia. Wow. Um, uh, you know what? Okay, Mystic Sage Aurelia doesn't have that bad of fucked up hands. <laughs> Master Smith, his right hand looks okay, but the left hand gets a little... Yeah, his left hand doesn't really hand. have any fingers. Okay, actually, Dr. Mordecai's fingers look really good, too. For the they're most passable. part. Yeah, yeah, they're passable. Yeah. Now, Checkmage Kalia, I mean, she's definitely got something fucked up going on right there. And I don't even think those are fingers down there. Uh, no, on her so right hand, going... I don't even think that is a hand. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, then I'm going with her. Take me, Kayla. All right. I yep. guess we'll go Master Smith Volter. Oh, yeah, you'd probably like to know the rules of the game, huh? Well, GPT decided to come up with a very Hearthstone-like rule set. First, both characters start with 50 HP and a 50 card deck from one of the four available hero decks. These are kind of like classes, you could say. The player who goes first is decided by one person flipping a coin and the other person calling the result. Second, each player starts with one energy that ramps up to a cap of 10 over the subsequent turns. Not like Hearthstone's mana at all. Completely different. Third, each player starts with five cards and they have the choice to put any of them back if they want and redraw them from the deck. Do this note as well. Uh, the limit for each player is a max 10 cards in hand before they must discard down to that cap. Finally, creatures have one turn of summoning sickness and the player can play as many cards as they want per turn as long as they can pay for it using their stockpile of energy. Creatures can attack directly or choose to attack a different creature. This gets interrupted by taunt and the attacking creature doesn't take damage from who they're attacking. I would accuse you of picking the counter deck to mine, however you didn't actually make these choices. Yeah. And then I'm going to spend one energy to play this creature. Uh, and that's my turn. Huh. All right, that's my turn. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and then I guess I'll attack you for one damage. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, you can Two damage? Yeah, yeah, one damage. So that's good. And I'll, whoop. And I'll have three energy. Whoop. Oh, my God. And I'll have three energy next turn. All right. Take it away. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play mm -hmm. with my two energy a hazard and let's see at the start of your turn deal two damage to a random enemy creature if it is survives give it a can attack until the end of the next turn if you hover over it and hold alt it'll make it like bigger so you can <laughs> a bit easier <laughs> my bench has a bit of a bite to it <laughs> i love that dude i don't know what it is i love the art style i know it's so good it's, it's very cohesive i feel like it's super cohesive and it's just it at like, uh, I want to, I mean, I'm just going to say it because fuck it. This isn't a very mm -hmm. competitive game. Arcane magnetism. Holy hell. Is that a cool, is that a cool, uh, yeah. Some of the cards just came out looking so fucking cool. It's so cool that you were able to make that. Like, I feel like this, this is an okay use of AI. Blazing sword. And I'm going to put it on my forge assist, which gives it plus two plus zero. And whenever this minion deals damage to an enemy minion, it also deals one damage to the enemy hero itself. And my dormant tinker can attack. So I'll attack you with the chattering teeth and the forge assist in his skin. Bane four damage. Yeah, there we go. That's my turn. It's two, so then that would be my forge assistant taking two damage, so he's dead. Okay. <laughs> you know, I just had a, another thought. Instead of, like, using uh, the dice to randomly target a creature, I could just ask ChatGPT what creature it's targeting. <laughs> so I was thinking, GPT was creating a lot of abilities that would be hard to implement outside of a computer game. I thought, why not just ask GPT to pick a random card? And it entirely worked. With the right prompts, you can use GPT to create random effects and cut all the extra fluff. So for any of you playing at home, simply put the prompt in for any random effect and bingo bongo. Instant card game with instant effects. Now, back to Chip. Uh, oh, that's new. Well, I, I think all the cards are new since I 
created them by hand. <laughs> oh. oh, but I don't... How much energy do I have? I have, like, five, right? Yeah, you have five. Yeah, I'll attack you with the chattering teeth so that you're taking one, four, six damage. That is my turn. Okay, oh, and then that also kills my chattering <laughs> teeth because of the electric fence. Okay, I'm going to play electric eel. Wow, you got a lot of electricity going around. <laughs> All right. The tides of battle have turned. The blacksmith's forge hazard. Whoops. Whenever an enemy creature attacks, deal two damage to it. And that's my turn. I'm going to play Frankenfiend. Ooh. Uh, it's your turn. <laughs> Are you not going to attack with the electric eel? I'm not. I'm ah. going to bide my time. Ah, okay. Boy, this hand sucks. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't do anything. That's my turn. Ah. Where is it? Oh, oh. <laughs> How do you shuffle my graveyard? Uh, I didn't know R shuffled the graveyard. My turn. Oh my god. I o The only cards I have in my hand are like cards that buff creatures. <laughs> Two, three, oh, four, no. five, six. Alright. I know this is my hazard, but I'm swapping it. I'm now you playing Volcanic Eruption. At the end of your turn, deal two damage to all creatures on the board. Uh. So, and then that's going to be my turn. And so then Electric Eel takes two damage and Frankenstein takes two more damage. Uh, I'm going to play uh, a, a hazard, a uh, Chronic Flux Generator. At the start of your turn, swap the position of two random creatures. And then I'm going to attack with both of my guys now. Okay, so 10, you said? Yep. All right, there we go. Now give me something I can do. God damn it. <laughs> oh, this is all I have are is weapons. <laughs> That's my entire this, hand. This game feels really feast or famine. <laughs> <laughs> See, it is feeling that way. All right, well, you're uh, up. Dope. Uh, so with all 10, I'm going to do Architect oh. Golem. Whoa, this thing's like goaded, overpowered. You get to draw a card if you have another... Cr oh my god. Yeah, I, so you only one before that one second here. Um, these two need to swap places because those are the only two that could. There you go. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Four energy. To summon Shield uh -oh. Bearer Paladin. Oh, no. Whenever this creature takes damage, give a random friendly creature one, one, and taunt. Okay, cool. And then we use three more. They use Blinding Flashbang. So this, uh, my Shield Bearer Paladin cannot be attacked by creatures with two or more hit attack next turn. Uh, and then with two more energy, I'm going to just play Blazing Sword on my Shield Bearer Paladin. That is my turn. Now we have to figure out which card to swap. Yep. All right, let me ask ChatGPT. The current card. Now, wait, on here's the TV. thing. We need to figure out, we need to new, figure out a new rule, actually. Hold on. Yeah, what's that? I have two effects going off at the same time that are at the start of the turn. So which one activates first, the hazard or the creature? Okay, let me ask that first real quick. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, so it's hazards, then spells, then creature effects. And then so finally weapons would happen last. It doesn't really matter, but it, it's flipping Electric Fiend and Frank, <laughs> Electric Eel and Frank and Fiend around again. Incredible. For the integrity of the game, we gotta yeah, it's it's very important to the gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's what I'm gonna do because I'm an evil bastard. Uh -huh. I'm gonna spend six and I'm gonna get another Franken fiend, <laughs> and right next to him I'm gonna summon a robotic hound. I am attacking with all other monsters in my under my command though. Okay, there we go. And my turn. Play battle axe of the forge master on shield bearer paladin. That increases his attack three more. Seven. And whenever he, oh, and one more health. And whenever he attacks, um, it deals one damage to all other enemy creatures. And then I'm going to attack with Shield Bearer Paladin. I'm going to attack the Electric Eel. So he has uh -oh. seven. So the Electric Eel is dead and it deals one damage to all creatures. And then all your creatures take one more damage because of Battle Axe of the Forge Master. So your Robotic Hound isn't dead. Okay, and then I'm also going to use the rest of my energy to use chain link armor on shield bearer paladin ah! <laughs> which means he uh, cannot be targeted by spells or abilities he also has taunt now so you have to attack him before you can attack me ah, okay and that's my turn all right what to chat tpt let's see it <laughs> don't fuck me <laughs> okay um frankenfiend one and arctech golem 
So uh, this right. will be Frankenfiend 1 because it was fun it summoned first. All right, you ready yeah. for this shit? I don't think I am. For all of my mana. Oh, no. You activated my trap card. <laughs> 10 damage to all enemy creatures and the enemy hero. Okay, Jesus Christ. Okay. This is the moment where Kaiba's just like, ah! And then I just lose here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Now that you've seen Chip absolutely wipe the floor with me in game one, let me explain a little bit about how I created the cards. I first got the rules of the game from Chachi, asking it prompts like what the names should be, what the rules should be, what does each card need to have? And once I compiled all of that, I got an idea of what a card would look like. Every card needed to have a cost, obviously. Every card needed a name, they all needed an image, they all needed, if it was a creature, they needed to have that type listed somewhere, and then they needed to have health, attack, and the final part would be they needed to have their ability somewhere on the card, and they needed to have flavor text somewhere on the card. Once I got all that, then I had another problem. I had to figure out, where do I store all this card data? And so, I put it all in this Google document, this Google Sheets. But after I did all of that and painstakingly wrote every card by hand, then I had two new problems. One, I needed to create a template that would work for every card and simplify the creation experience and save me time. And two, I needed AI generated art. For the first template, I just made a basic card background with design choices I asked GPT to give me. How should it look? Where should each design be? What should the font be? What should the background be? After I got that together and ready to make cards for every deck, I had to figure out how to get the art that looked close enough to be good while still maintaining that the card game had art that fit together with continuity. I didn't want any card to look so vastly different or stand out compared to the others. Like, these cards look like trash while these look beautiful. This was a bit of a challenge. So I started going to different AI art generators, but there was one massive problem between all the ones I tried. They cost money. So to fix that part, I found one that was free, and the only downside to using it is eventually it just makes the prompts come out slower. And while I don't have money, I do have time to spend. All of the art I use is supplied by Bing's AI art generator model that works off of the Dolly engine. The second part was how do I make the art look cohesive? And I came up with a very clever workaround. I asked GPT to make a prompt for an AI online art generator, even told it which generator, Bing, and I told it to have the vibe of the game world, which it created, and this worked out stunningly. And every time, almost without fail, it created art that fit the world, fit the theme, fit the vibes, and like looked like it was all in the same card game. This is the part that blew me away the most and also made me feel like a mega genius for coming up with this idea of asking the AI generator to make a prompt for another AI generator. And finally, with everything ready to go, I started generating art for the cards and making them. This was a very slow, painstaking process, and eventually I had all of the cards front images made. And with that explained, I'll let you get back to the games and come back later to explain a bit more of the process. All right, heads or tails? Heads. All right, here we go. He's described my right. life. You go first. Do anything yet? So. I also can't do anything, so that's my turn. Now I'll put the go down. <laughs> now I guess just, there you I go. Just one explosive goat. That is true. What is an enemy hero considered? Is that oh, that's you? Me. Yeah, that's me. Mm, interesting. Um, yep, that's my turn. Uh, you're up. I'm assuming hazards that say that deal damage to everything does damage to everything. Yes. Oh, yeah, I would oh, guess crazy. so, yeah. No, I don't know how to play the game other than spam things. Okay, it's going to be uh, quite the play. Don't so I'm going to use... It. I'm using two energy to play my favorite card in the game, actually, Steam Powered Squirrel. And, and I'm going to use two more energy to play ro Robotic Augmentation on him. And I'm going to, with the Steam Powered Squirrel, because it can attack on the first turn, it's going to I attack see. the Explosive Goat, which kills the goat, and then the goat deals two damage to all creatures. <laughs> Which kills yeah. all your board. Doesn't that kill yours too? Out of curious? Or no, it'll put my someday. my squirrel yeah. on one hit point. You don't want to listen to me drink? I thought I'd listen to you drink as much as you're just going to uh, speak directly into my ear canal. Okay. My brother, Ooh. Christ, I could hear your fucking larynx. Cast Arcane Barrier for three energy. And then I will attack with the squirrel attack your shield bearer paladin, which will... Kill the paladin. This squirrel is yoked. How much attack does he have? Five, Five two yeah. HP. 
Okay, I'm sorry to do this to you. I mean, I'm not really, but I'm going to play Robotic Hound, right? And I'm going to play Arcane Barrier again on Team Hearts World. I should have got buffs instead. All I got was creatures. Anything. These cards, all this stuff is so expensive. I can't slap anything together on the like, on the floor. It's even more. I'm just throwing them on the front line to die horribly to buy me time. Now I could I could do a funny play, and so I will. I think at this point, yeah, it's kind of not going my way in like a landslide. Ah, there we okay, go. Okay, so I'm playing pranks for puffball. Oh, at the start of your turn, that. cast a random prank spell. So, oh, <laughs> how dare you? What else do I want to do? Yo, can I have the silly swap? <laughs> Please. Uh, yeah. Please. If you don't kill it and I roll the d6 in your favor. The fucking squirrel goes way too hard for being a squirrel. Why can't the fucking squirrel die? We're all my, dying okay. and it's my fault. I must say, this mm -hmm. must seem what Yu-Gi-Oh sounds like to somebody who's never played the game before. Oh, I don't know. Well, I mean, it's out now. I can't take it back. I mean, I could, but I'm not. Buff my boy. So, three and three. So, is it just a, I want your squirrel dead. Sure, dude. Go out there. Be chill. What the fuck even is it? Oh, damn it. If I played him, if I got him first and played my weapon card, I would have been swagging. Yeah, that's why you I always I wouldn't have been able draw. to do anything with that extra energy, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do a real gamer move, and you're going to love it. Quantum Flux. I don't think I'll love it. What does that do? So, Shuffle all cards on the board into their owner's decks, and then each player draws that many cards that were shuffled in. Oh, what? So Trunkling goes home, bro? Yep, goes into your deck, the weapon goes into the deck, the hazard goes into the oh, deck. I guess he's not dead. <laughs> this doesn't seem right. <laughs> it's just really wacky. You want? Okay, I kind of want to show you what I got. Yeah, go ahead. It's, it's, it's comedic. Okay, look. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got him back. I'm gonna be a little. I'm gonna be a little mischievous, dude. Let's fucking let's put, let's put that guy out. Oh, uh, that's a different. My card. entire hand does consist of weapons and a trunk thing. So if I don't kill this <laughs> Forge of the Apocalypse, I am, rock. I am fucked. Wait till the trunk thing comes out with this briefcase. Right. Is that guy just holding a trunk? I get it now. <laughs> Insert Danny DeVito for me. So I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do something a little swaggy, a little zany, a little bit uncharacteristic uh -huh. after I draw. Uh, take okay. thir take 26 damage. Okay, one second. So give a friendly creature 3-3. Three, three. The ability to take twice this turn. So that's, that's I'm actually taking 32 damage because it Jeez, um Christ. it doubles the effect. I really just nuked you. Say it's very ominous that Parker is slightly levitating and air is facing up against 2B. <laughs> what? <Where? laughs> uh. This is a true battle of wits. Look how Tubi's looking at him, bro. Even looking at your cards, it's like a game of poker. It's a Are you legendary ready to, um, electro wand. Already to just uh, cry a little bit. I guess. All my that, all my energy plays this. It does ten damage to you, all enemy creatures, and I heal ten. But well, isn't he still alive? Damn. He's still alive, but that would put him down to four. And then I'm going to attack it with Frankenfiend, which kills it. That is so sad. Which saves me from the brink of fucking death. And I'm yeah, gonna I'm... deal one damage to you with Inquisitive Imp. You know? I sure hope there's a creature here that'll save me. I wish I could have anything but weapons. The dude wasn't lying when he said he could forge any weapon. That is all yeah. I have. <laughs> Unfortunately, he can't give the weapons to anyone, but he can forge uh -huh. it. Yeah, but you're not don't the creature worry. that will help Jesse, I don't think. Oil slick. Oh, hold on, let me get that out of there. Okay, place an oil slick on the battlefield whenever a creature attacks, roll a d6, and if it's six... You know that you get really fucking lucky. That might keep you in this game. Mm -hmm. well, I don't really know what the hell the Master Smith is holding above his head. To be honest with you, it's, it's like, like the handle uh, of a hammer. Actually, it's like two different. No, no it's two it's, different ones. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's or maybe he's like and... dipping it in the fire behind him. It's two different ones. He's, he's yeah. forging right now, bro. Or he's on the nine they're to five. Maybe to his antlers. And <laughs> That'd be <laughs> good. I feel like that's kind of really bad to like. He has to turn sideways going through. He the accidentally like shit. welded two handles to his helmet on accident. He's like, damn. That's really funny. Like, fuck I help. <laughs> and whoop. Oh. Okay, Steam Powered Squirrel does not, so you're taking one damage. Yeah, and he takes the damage as well, the squirrel, because that's the little thing. Oh, Take Squirrel, you only had one hit point. Goodbye. <laughs> He's left! <laughs> Alright, alright. And then, at the end of my turn, Frankenfiend triggers, and that kills Flame Smithy. Did I put a creature on here? <laughs> that can only last for one turn. What effect? Two. Banana Peel Brigade. Flip a coin on any creature attack. Heads attack fails, tails attack succeeds. Okay, so I now have to well, roll the die slip. and flip a coin every or every attack. Okay, cool. Make your attacks. I dare you. Start with Inquisitive Imp 
and I'll just throw them at Forgeborn. So first, flip the tail. Tails. The succeeds, um, I think. Yeah, so that succeeds, and I need to yeah. roll the die. Uh, but that fails until he's dead. He died. <laughs> he fucking broke his neck, dude. He he was like, oh, God, I can't slip on that banana peel. And then he mm. slipped immediately on an oil slick directly into a blade. Okay. So I'll, with Frank and Fiend, I'll attack the Forgeborn Guardian. Oh, first. yeah. Can you not slip? Succeed? Oh, you may. Succeed. Okay, so then Forgeborn Guardian is dead. Right. Frankster Puffball. No, I don't know oh, if that really counts. Me. Yeah, let's flip that again. It fails. He slipped. <laughs> Arcane Dynamo. Succeed. Succeed. You take two damage. Slip. He slips. <laughs> okay, there you go. That's my turn. This is just a Mario Kart game now with fucking oil slicks and banana peels everywhere. Okay, so I get Electric Eel. Eel. You get yeah, Arcane well. Dynamo. You get Robotic Hound. And one more. Which and one? Pranks or Puffball. I don't want that shit. <laughs> okay. Do I have to, you have to play him every turn, don't you? Yep. Yeah, fucking hell. Is hell canonical in this universe? Uh, let's so ask GP to he. Within the lore of whimsical weaponry warfare, the existence of an afterlife or a realm commonly referred to as hell is indeed present. This otherworldly realm is a mysterious, foreboding place where lost souls and malevolent entities reside. It is said that powerful magical artifacts and creatures have been known to emerge from the depths of this dark realm, sometimes crossing over into the mortal world. However, the specifics of this afterlife and its connection to the gameplay mechanics and card abilities remain to be fully explored and revealed through the game's expansive lore. There you go, hell exists. Excellent. That's where I sent him. How many elves? Yeah, I will use them both to attack the puffball just because I don't want to give you a chance to get into this game. I don't trust your handful of weapons to leave a card. That's in your all I game. have. Twelve. All right, Good. attack the goat. Attack the goat. Okay. The goat's mm, dead. That deals two damage to everything. I think you can just win here, to be honest. Uh, yeah, because if you have to kill, yeah, you'd have to kill two of my creatures, and if you attack the eel, or kill the eel, yeah. then these two would still be alive. I like the art. The art was very cool, but yeah. there definitely is some balancing. I don't know. My deck was just like. More I think Matthew Smith Volter is just very weak. It seems. Wow, that was an interesting experience to be sure. It's amazing what ChatGPT is capable of, and it's even more amazing that we have no real idea how it actually works. If you want to try this yourself, there'll be a mod of it on Steam Workshop for Tabletop Simulator, and a link below for it and the deck randomizer. The rules will be included in Tabletop, as well as an in-game pad that links to ChatGPT for all the prompt-based cards. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video, and for those who play the game, I hope you enjoy the game as well. If you want to see more stuff like this, like the video and comment below what you think and what you'd want. And in the future, I might add to the game or do something else like this. I have a lot of ideas with ChatGPT that I think will be a lot of fun. And you're going to see more with GPT in the future. Now, the video will be ending here. If you liked this one, I'm sure you'd like this video essay about solving the Fate timeline. Look, I know it's not a direct one-to-one -one video recommendation, but I haven't done anything like this before, so my options are kind of limited. If that's not your style, how about the video below it that's perfectly tailored to you and your likes by the YouTube algorithm? You just watched an entire video about ChatGPT, so why not use another AI that knows what you like more than you know yourself? Otherwise, thank you all for watching this video to the end, and I'll see you all in the next one.